Good day creative friends, I hope you're doing well. This video is quite different than what I presented to you last week. <laughs> I have been in a creative rut for the past two weeks because I was involved in a project that took me away from anything creative. So, and I'm the type of person that needs to paint or draw almost every day. Otherwise, I feel like I have not painted at all for years. Um, I guess my muscle memory is not quite sturdy enough, I guess. Um, so I decided to do something that I don't do often. I turned to Pinterest. And as soon as I opened my the page, my Pinterest page, in my home feed, there was this beautiful painting from an artist by the name of Maggie Chiang. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. But her style, her paintings really resonated with me and uh, I sort of identified with her style in very little ways like she she likes to pattern within her the shapes that she creates and I'm a big fan of that as you know. But her style is very clean, her lines are crisp, uh, it's a very modern approach to watercolor and I guess I needed a change from uh, the doodly, more of um, unpolished ways that I created the doodle dollies last week. I needed order in my chaotic schedule. And so for that reason, her style really resonated with me. And I was trying to figure out how can I take from her style and integrate it into my own without flat out copying what she had done and it's always been a very scary thing for me uh, as I've mentioned this before but uh, plagiarism is something that I feel very strongly about and I'm always scared um, like this is the last thing I want on my plate is being accused of plagiarism so there's a fine line between being inspired by someone and uh, downright copying someone and I think I pulled it off. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. If you research her work on Pinterest, um, I will spell out her name in the description so that you can go and check her out. Her paintings are absolutely stunning, um, in my opinion. Anyways, this is a style that I really like. So I decided to give it a go. I created a landscape and I went for clean, crisp lines in my own way and incorporated a lot of um, patterning inside all these shapes. And I'm mainly going to be using straight lines and curvy lines, but um, it's almost like there's two distinctive patterns in here, but uh, in different orientations. So I'm going to vary the thickness of the lines that I'm using and I am doing some vertical, some diagonally, some horizontal. And then I have this other pattern that's more of um, like a wavy line or a semi-circle uh, shape. So each of these shapes will have their own patterns. And I find this very soothing. Um, in terms of technical stuff, there's really not that much to say. <laughs> I have used... Um, I guess they could be called pa um, a fall palette of color. It's yellow ochre. Um, then I mixed a little bit of the yellow ochre with perylene green. Then I mixed the perylene green with a little bit of Prussian blue and also um, Payne's gray. So I also played with these th four colors in mixing them together to create different shades. And also, I'm sorry about that little noise in the background, that's my computer. Um, also, when I did the doodling inside, instead of using a marker, I used a brush. This is a number two round by Silver Black Velvet. Um, and then I also uh, played with the different shades of each of the colors so that the lines would show. Uh, one thing I would advise you if you want to do something like this is to wait until the shapes are completely dry before moving in <laughs> and patterning inside the shapes. 
because as you saw the bottom shape or the let's call them little mountains or hills uh, was not completely dry so you can see that I have like a big fat line <laughs> there but I will correct it at the end um, there's always ways to correct things but in the meantime I will leave you with some music because that's basically all that I'm doing is just uh, working on my line work and also I have to say that this is a good way to practice your uh, brush control so maybe it's something that will appeal to you and you'll want to practice but uh, I will come back towards the end enjoy the music
So there's my little boo-boo, and once again, the gold has come to the rescue. <laughs> yes, my friends, I'm adding pale gold again. Um, I'm going to limit myself to just a f like one line within each of these shapes, and I think it just makes the subtle statement that the piece needed. I also do apologize for the autofocus. Sometimes it focuses on my hand. Um... I haven't figured that one out yet, <laughs> but I will eventually. So um, once the piece was done, I realized that there was like everything was positioned uh, in the last two thirds of the page, like the bottom two thirds of the page, and it didn't feel balanced to me. So I showed it to my daughter and she's like, hmm why don't you add a cloud in the sky and she says use pink which is quite unusual for her to say that <laughs> she's not a big fan of pink but um, I came out with the right shade I think of pink I mixed um, shell pink and flesh tint by Renaissance which is now called by the way a uh, yellow ochre red uh, they changed the name <laughs> so you will see at the end that i once i was finished the whole piece i removed all the tapes and then i decided to add the cloud so i will just have to add a little bit of tape to the left hand side so that i would have the clean edge from the left and that's basically it i added a few dots to this branch with our white posca paint pen which is pretty awesome it's completely opaque and i I love using it now. Um, I sort of ditched my uh, gel pens <laughs> in favor of this. And that's that's basically it. I absolutely adore this piece. It was a relief to be able to create um, with some renewed inspiration. I might resort to that creative process once in a while whenever I'm stuck. As a reminder, I just want to note that the supplies that I'm using in my videos are always listed in the description. So if you're watching on a computer, you can click on show more, which you will find right underneath the video window. And if you're watching on a mobile device, uh, meaning your phone or a tablet, you can expand the description by clicking on a little down arrow that you'll find right underneath the video window. As I've mentioned before, this is quite a different style that I'm using in this video, and this is what you will find on my channel. I'm more of a no style style kind of gal. I keep flip-flopping from one to another, and this is how I create. My creative process varies quite greatly depending on my mood or depending on my schedule. So I hope that you will learn to embrace that because this is not going to change. If you are more of a doodly uh, kind of uh, creator, you can still find a whole bunch like that uh, in my previous videos. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, my awesome patrons, for being great supporters of my creative journey over at Patreon. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic and creative week, and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.